Hey gangsters, welcome to your 26th Android tutorial for my bring back. And we're actually going to get into drawing. I know I told you guys we were going to do it in the last tutorial, but I just want to talk about constructors and all that good stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our drawing the ball class, right? And this is where we're going to let the magic happen, so to say. And let's just go into this class, right click, go to source, override implement methods, or and just see what they have to offer, what the view class has to offer. So we have a lot of a lot of methods that we can use and the main method that we're going to use for this tutorial or this little activity that we're building is something called on draw whoa on draw and we're just going to click that and hit OK and we have this new method and as you can see this method gets passed in a canvas just kinda of like our drawing the ball constructor got passed in the context this is passing in a canvas and you can think of this whole drawing the ball class is kind of like an XML layout, right? And uh, we're going to define stuff within this layout, how we want it to work. And we're getting, again, for this on draw method, we're getting past in a canvas. And a canvas is just going to basically fill our whole screen, fill the width, fill the parent in both the height and the width. Um, we can draw on our canvas at certain locations, like in the center of the canvas. Whatever we want to do, we're pretty open here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into this on draw method and to start out with let's just draw a rectangle onto our canvas. Rectangle pretty simple. I think I, I learned how to draw a rectangle in about uh, 11th grade or something like that. So hopefully we can do that with encoding. So what we're going to do is we're going to say rec and we're going to call this r rectangle or r, yeah, r rec something like that. I'm going to set this equal just to a new rec. So again, if you guys were you know a little bit unfamiliar with Java, now you can kind of see since we created a new uh, you know new drawing the ball class and we use this method new. Hopefully, you're making some of those connections. Is oh yeah, we're just you know we're, we're calling this rectangle class. We're starting a new rectangle of some sort. Just the basic framework uh, that we're getting back. I don't know if that made sense or not, but anyways, now what we're going to do is we're going to define this rectangle. So we have a rectangle called our rec and we have some methods that we can use from the rectangle class as you can see here and the first thing that we want to do is we want to define the size of a rectangle so what we're going to do is we're going to say dot set and as you can see we have a left one that takes four parameters a left top right bottom so just to kind of display how this works is here's our whole canvas basically the whole screen here's the top left obviously here's the right side here's the bottom right um, so that's kinda how that works so as we move to the right our x position or our x value gets bigger for example 100 pixels you know we can move this distance uh, I don't know exactly how far 100 pixels is I didn't want to count them all out but uh, yeah and then we just keep moving further and further but what we're gonna do is we're gonna relate to the canvas because again we're getting past in the canvas so we can relate to the canvas size and say hey how far is the canvas and the width and how far is the canvas and the height and we want to divide like half of that so what we're going to do is we're going to draw a rectangle for basically the upper half of our canvas so how we're going to draw this rectangle again we're going to start the left position at zero the top left corner is what we want so also the top is going to be at position zero the right side we want to fill the whole screen <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to say canvas dot get width and that's going to get the width and return it in pixels because again we don't know how many pixels for every Android device there is so if we would have said like 500 pixels you know that would have filled the whole screen for this one um, you know but uh, if it's on a tablet or something that might only fill up part of the width so what we're doing again is just relating to the canvas getting the width of what's available and that's what we're setting our right value to and then for the bottom value we want to fill up you know the upper half of the screen so we're gonna say uh, canvas again dot get height and just divide that by two so hopefully that's kind of the concept you guys get again we're getting the canvas or so getting everything that's available and then we're getting the width and the height of the canvas and just you know setting up like that and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up what color we want this rectangle to be so we're gonna say a paint and we're going to say uh, blue. Again, we're just setting a, this equal to a new paint object. 
something like that and we have to add our imports and then we're just going to say blue dot set color because even though we set it to blue it's not really set to a color yet so we're just going to relate to the color class and just say dot uh, blue so now we, we're setting our paint variable um, called blue to the color blue and then we're also going to say um, the style that we want to paint our rectangle we want our whole rectangle to be filled so we're just going to say blue dot set style and we're just going to set this equal to paint dot style dot uh, fill so now anytime we paint with this blue it's going to fill it in and it's going to be of the color blue the last thing we need to do is we need to draw to our actual canvas so what we're going to do is we're going to say canvas dot draw and we have all these things that we can do we can draw a bitmap we can draw a circle a line but uh, again we're just going to draw a rectangle as you can see within the parameters it takes a rectangle object and a paint object so we're going to click that and for a rectangle we're going to relate to our rectangle that we created called our rec and for a paint we're going to relate to our paint object that we called blue so there we go uh, let's run our application see if we get the desired result so let's run our application hit button 4 so it might be a little bit oh might be one of those optical illusions um, no actually you know what what's going on is uh, basically the canvas is relating to the whole size of the of the screen um, so it's taking into account this space here as well so if we hit the taskbar so if we hit our title bar and um, you know this little label here and all that stuff and set our activity to be full screen um, it draw halfway down the screen but since we have this it's taking up a little bit more than half of what we think should be available um, but again if we just hide this title bar and all that good stuff like I showed you a few tutorials ago um, it would draw on half the screen or half the canvas and I uh, hope you guys you know kinda get the basic concepts in the next tutorial we're gonna draw that ball um, basically you know and show you how to animate it just you know some simple stuff but I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and thanks again for watching and subscribing giving thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in the next one have a good one